everyone, it's Eliana. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm going to show you how to make mass-produced Christmas cards. So I'm going to start off with the My Favorite Things Wonky Rectangle Die. I have the Simon Says Stamp Simply Simple Ho Dies. It's just a strange name for a die. Uh, and I have the Concord and Ninth Summer Glitter Pack. I'm also using the Waffle Flower Christmas Stripes. I've already cut down all of my panels using the dies, so I just picked out pretty much the same color palette. And I'm just going to adhere these panels to the front of my pre-folded cards. I'm going to use the Misty T ruler to line things up. So I'm simply lining up some of the grid lines on the T ruler. And because it is pretty much flat, it does have a tiny little bit of a lip on the short side of the T, but it is uh, it's perfect to use to line things up. So you can just use the grid lines to determine how much of a border you want. I've already cut down all of my um, dies. I did do three of the colors and I mounted each one of the um, hose <laughs> onto um, the shadow and I'm just removing the foam squares. I did do multiple layers uh, underneath, so I did cut them out of white cardstock and then I just mounted them on. And I know that I want them to be an inch away from the border and then I'm also using the grid lines uh, to line it up from the top. You can see from the close-up picture where I have the lines. I'm using the edge of the ruler on one side and then I'm going um, about half an inch using the lines from the short side of the ruler. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the bottom so that I could line up the bottom one to match and then what I'll do is I will center the one in the middle. That way the top and the bottom are equal distance apart and then the middle one will be directly in the middle and I can determine that by counting the number of squares between the top of the H and the bottom part of the H. Now for the little black sentiment, I'm going to be using the Simon Says Stamp Reverse Holiday um, Strips. And I like to cut these with my cut -a -line, uh, because if you use the die, the die tends to dent the sentiment above and below and then you lose that sentiment because it's got a big old dent in it. But if you use the cut -a -line to just line up where you want to cut and then you can gently just run your blade up, down across the channel and then you'll get a nice even cut. So I'm just using one of the red lines or, or one of the pink lines from the ruler to um, determine where my cut needs to be. Um, I did see one video where the person um, did like a review of the cut -a line and they had wished that I had used black lines. Uh, but this is exactly the reason why I did not use black lines is because we use a lot of black cardstock in card making and I didn't want to use white lines because we also use white cardstock in card making. So by making them pink or as close to red, um, you'll be able to see those because we rarely make cards in these colors. So I'm just going to split up the space between the Mary and the Christmas. So I'm just figuring out where I want to make it. And I'm using, like I said, the lines to, to guide me on where I'm going to run my blade. Now that those two are cut apart, I'm going to run a black marker around the edges so you won't see the white cardstock underneath. And that gives you a more finished look. I'm going to do that to both pieces and then what I'll do is I will put them uh, put them on foam tape that way it's lifted up a little bit especially since the shadow is also lifted up um, it will uh, line up so I'm going to be using this black foam and I'm just going to cut little strips and you can see where the beginning of the sentiment is lining up with the um, 
top of the H and so I'm not going to add any foam to that and because I did add a lot of dimension to the die cuts uh, I did three layers of white and then I put the glitter on top and then I put foam tape underneath the shadow so it is kind of really tall but most of my cards go through the mail without a problem so I'm just going to line it up and I'm going to add, I, I need to move this little foam piece a little bit over so that it doesn't overlap. And I'm just noticing that I didn't take some of that um, backing off of part of it. And I couldn't figure out why it was still kind of wonky. But it's because I forgot to take the backing off of part of the um, sentiment. And I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue underneath the first part of the sentiment just so that it stays in place. I don't like it when um, things on the front of my card get caught on the envelope, so I try to secure them as best I can. So I'm just going to put one layer of foam on the Mary part because it's not going to overlap with any of the um, other letters. And I did go through and I just tried to find sentiments that would fit. And so here are all the cards that I ended up making. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.